Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another one of our video blogs. Blogs, we're super glad to have you back here to discuss some of the different seasonal advantages of selling your home and how to actually take advantage of those different times of year. So if that's something you're interested in, you're in the right place. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 Real Estate Team here in Arizona. Yes, we are back and we're talking about seasonality, which I know in Arizona, depending on where you live, uh, can be a little bit of a misnomer. We actually don't have a ton of seasonality if you live down in the valley. It's like, you know, hot, really hot, getting less hot and then really beautiful. So, but there are definitely some selling cycles here in Arizona as it comes to real estate market and those kind of things. So selling a home involves so much more than just listing it on the house in the greater Phoenix area, as you probably know. And that weather that we just talked about uh, plays a huge role in that and in buyer behavior and understanding which seasons work best for what kind of buyer and um, where they're potentially buying. So let's jump right in. So let's talk about spring first, not the closest one to us right now, but let's just jump in at spring since it's traditionally kind of the one that everybody looks forward to. And this is traditionally the best time to uh, to sell your house in Arizona. It, the weather is usually a little bit milder, uh, making it an ideal time for your potential buyers to go out and start looking at homes. All right. So in the spring, I'm going to give you some tips on how to capitalize on each one of these seasonal kind of showing opportunities. So in the spring, things that we want to focus on when we're selling a house in the state of Arizona are going to be number one, curb appeal. Okay. Perfect time. Everybody wants to live outside and they're looking towards summer and what they're going to experience in summer. So the yard is going to be terribly important. The exterior of the house, terribly important. All right. So we're talking about things like colorful flowers, trim your bushes, make sure that your lawn is green and inviting, all those kind of things. Now, as we get into the house, and this plays true across all of the seasons, but specifically in the spring, because we talk about spring cleaning, we want to make sure that the house is really decluttered and really, really deeply cleaned. Okay. People want to not feel like the house has been shut up for the winter. They want to start to feel that outdoor coming in. And so again, having it all fresh and decluttered and clean and sparkling and light. Those are the things that we're looking for. All right. And then finally, once you look for ways to actually brighten up your interior, that may mean that we open up the windows, let the natural light in. That might just be the easiest of all the things. Um, we might want to consider maybe repainting some things to some light, airy colors. Uh, we also want to look at maybe some lighter staging items. Anyway, we're trying to reflect the fresh, the new of spring. That's what we're doing there. Okay, now let's talk about summer in Arizona. It's hot, real hot. You know how the rest of the phrase goes. Summer in Phoenix can absolutely be scorching, but it is also a time when we actually see more home, homes in Arizona exchange hands. Why? because the kids are out of school, let's be honest, okay? So well, that's when families are looking to move. It's when it's the most convenient and they wanna get moved before the new school year starts. And because we have almost a modified year round school schedule here in Arizona, it happens during the summer, all right? So here are some tips for selling in the summer months. Number one, Again, if you have outdoor areas that are a part of Arizona living, so we're talking about patios, pools, all of those kind of things that uh, are going to draw people outside even in the Arizona summer, we want to make sure that we're showcasing those. So we actually want to make sure that the pool area is beautifully staged and maintained and set up and just really inviting to those, those people who are looking. Um, the interior of your home, I know that this is not popular by uh, by definition, but the interior of home, we want it to be really comfortable. We want people to actually stay in your home and discuss it 
and like mentally move in. And what does that need? It means that you need to have your air conditioning running and set at a very, very comfortable level, even if the house is vacant in Arizona, okay? A functioning air conditioning unit in Arizona is an absolute must have. So just demonstrate how great it is. So make sure that it is cool, comfortable, and welcoming from the heat as they are coming in to view your property. Last thing that we really want to highlight if it is a feature of your home is the energy efficiency of your home in the summer. That's amazing. So we're going to emphasize things in our listing like our new windows our good insulation, our ener energy efficient appliances, anything that we can do to help keep the electricity costs down, we want to make sure that the potential buyers know about those items in the property when you're selling in the summer months. Okay, moving on to fall. This is the one that we're currently moving into right now, but this is typically known as the season of warmth and comfort. You guys know, sweater weather, sweater weather. We don't get a whole lot of sweat weather here in Arizona until we're almost into winter time, but we still like to reflect that in our homes. And we still want to bring that kind of cozy, happy feeling into our homes, um, even when it's a little warm outside. We like to trick ourselves mentally. So in the fall, the evenings get really nice and beautiful and cool and the mornings also. So really that's what we kind of want to like focus on and maybe even stage for. So we want to create interior, um, a really nice, warm and cozy atmosphere. So that season of time, maybe we want to consider using some of those colors in some of our staging items. So um, cozy textiles, throw rug or not throw rugs, um, throw blankets, pillows, those kind of things. We want to just kind of create this warm, happy, cozy environment and ambiance in our houses. Now, it's also incredibly important at this stage of the game to maintain that curb appeal, okay? So you really need to clean up that yard again. I know summer's wreaked havoc on it, but make sure that all of the dead stuff is raked up and moved out. Um, consider add adding maybe some seasonal decorations. Like if we're in the Halloween season, I don't want you to steer clear of putting out your Halloween decorations. We just might, maybe don't want them in the photos, but you know, you're still living there for right now. So let's go ahead and uh, and do that. Things like pumpkins that can easily be moved around if we need to, or decorative wreaths, all those kind of things, maybe a little uh, entryway rug. Those are super fun in the fall. And then the last thing for the fall season that we're going to want to focus on are those like year round features. So things like your outdoor fire pit, um, your grill, your outdoor kitchen, uh, your outdoor indoor living spaces that maybe you can open things up if you've got one of those all wall slider glass doors, just things like that. We want to really, really make sure that everybody sees how comfortable the interior is, but how easy it is to open up the house and be a part of the exterior as well, especially during fall. That's when we love to be outside. All right. And then winter, winter showcasing. Again, we're going for comfort and style. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to, again, emphasize those really cozy features. Like if you happen to have a fireplace, we want to kind of jazz that up. Um, warmer lighting at that time, comfortable seating areas, maybe put out in your staging some games or puzzles or those kind of things that are going to kind of emphasize like, Hey, we still have a great life, even if we're indoors. Um, in the winter, we especially want to maximize the fact that in Arizona, we still have a whole lot of sunshine. So again, maximizing the natural light. Um, the days are shorter. So we, again, all want to have those windows open as much light. We want to make sure that all the light bulbs in the house work. That's again, a year round thing, but especially during the winter, every need, every room needs to be as bright and light as possible. So we're going to use both the natural lighting and the electrical light so that everything feels really bright. Um, and then lastly, again, you're living in the house. We have a lot of holidays throughout the winter. Don't shy away too much, but be really tasteful in your holiday decorations. So don't make them overly religious. Don't make them overly crazy uh, or overly, you know, cluttery feeling. Just festive, warm, appealing, all those kind of things. Families are trying to move into those houses. They want to see how they could potentially celebrate in that same space as well. So. 
Last thing we're going to talk about in this quick video, which is not so quick, sorry, um, is timing strategies, aligning with the peak season. So again, we have kind of a little bump in the late winter, early spring. Um, this is going to be kind of the people that maybe are less concerned about moving the kids. Maybe they're moving from one neighborhood to the same neighborhood, so they're not changing schools or anything like that. But you may want to consider listing home late winter. That's that's a good one. Gives you a little bit of a head start before the market gets too saturated. Um, so that that's a great time for a little less competition. So that's one timing strategy. The second timing strategy is to price competitively in the off season. So again, if we're looking in the end of summer, right, as the kids are going back to school, that's going to be a lull. Um, or in the winter, remember to make sure that your house is ready beautiful, perfect, nothing that people could be mad about and price it competitively. And then lastly, we want to utilize the market trends that are happening. So if you don't already have one, make sure that you have a great realtor that is helping you, that is experienced in marketing and uh, knows how to get these houses sold. So that's going to be a huge thing. So again, just in conclusion, selling a home in the greater Phoenix area, major metro area, East Valley area, all those things in Arizona it, it's great. It just, you need to be cognizant of the weather, know that there are some things that affect it, know that there are different markets for different seasons and really have that great realtor who's going to be able to guide you, assist you. And it is never, ever, ever too soon to, talk, to start talking to a realtor about what you want to do in the next year and really getting a plan in place. In fact, the longer that we have to consult with you and uh, help guide you through this process, the less stressful it's going to be on you and your family to make your needs and desires a reality. So remember, for all seasons, it's about enjoying the Arizona sunshine, making your house comfortable and cozy and inviting, and it'll be great. So happy selling. If we can be of assistance to you, please don't hesitate to reach out. As always, please make sure that you give us a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe, ring the bell on YouTube, all of those different kinds of things so that we make sure that this information gets out to as many people as possible. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on our next video.